Buddies transaction screen is where you can keep track of all the cookies your troop and Girl Scouts are financially responsible for this cookie season. You can also add or remove cookies from your inventory by creating new transactions. You use the transaction screen to view your troop's total on-hand cookie orders, track digital orders that are shipped directly to customers, place orders to cookie cupboards for any additional cookies you may need, and record cookie exchanges with other troops. The total of the cookie orders listed on the Transactions tab, plus any Gift of Caring donations your troop has collected, is the inventory you must submit payments for by the close of cookie season. To get started, click on the Transactions tab in eBuddy's navigation bar. If your council incorporates pending orders to cookie cupboards in the transaction screen, it will be set by default to show only those transactions. You can change the view filter to show only those pending transactions that are waiting to be picked up at a cookie cupboard, shipped orders placed through digital cookie, or all your transactions, including the initial order after you submit it to your service unit. The columns on the transaction screen display important information, when applicable, for each transaction listed. These include receipt number, if you plan to use these cookies at a cookie booth or if you're adding them to your general inventory, the date the transaction was created in eBuddy, the second party with whom you made the transaction, such as another troop, a cupboard, or digital cookie. The pickup date for cupboard orders and exchanges with other troops. The line at the cupboard where you'll pick up your order. The number of packages per cookie variety. And the total number of cookies included in the transaction. If you want to see the details of every digital shipped order, select the Expand DOC Orders checkbox. All digital shipped orders now appear in separate rows, sorted by date. If you want to see who created a troop transaction or who created, processed, and received a covered transaction, select the View Info checkbox. At the bottom of the transaction screen, you'll see three rows that sum up your transactions by cookie variety and total packages. On hand is the sum of your digital shipped orders, received cupboard orders, cookies you've exchanged with another troop, and your initial order. In other words, cookies that have already been physically delivered to your troop or your customers. The pending row adds up the cookies that are waiting to be picked up at a cupboard. And after pending is all the cookies you've accepted financial responsibility for. To create a new cupboard or troop transaction, just click the Add button to open the Add Transaction screen. By default, eBuddy assumes you want to place an order with a cookie cupboard and that you want the cookies you order marked as normal or for general use on the Transactions tab. If you want your order to be marked as for use at booth sales, select that option. Now just select a cupboard, set up a time when you want to pick up your cookies, and input the amount, in either cases or packages, of each variety you want to order. Click Save and then click OK to confirm your order. When you return to the main transaction screen, you'll see your new pending order at the top of the list, and your totals will reflect the new order. If you've exchanged cookies with another troop, just click the Troop button, select if the transaction is for normal or booth inventory, then enter the troop's number and the date and time you made the exchange. If you are receiving cookies from the other troop, accept the default Add Product option. 
If you're giving cookies to the other troop, select Remove Product and enter the cookies you're exchanging. Click Save and OK to confirm your transaction. When you view the Transactions screen, you'll see your new troop transaction and your on hand and after pending totals will update accordingly. You can return to the Transactions screen and click on any troop and pending cupboard transaction to edit it. Your initial order, DOC orders, and released cupboard transactions are locked for editing. Thanks for watching.